So in this short video, we're gonna show how we can transition from having a single virtual host that works off of one application to setting it up to have an upstream pool of applications and be a load balancer. We're gonna be working off of a website that I have created and the DNS all routed up. And right now this is just running off of a single Python application and it's listening on port 8000, but I have some other ones spun up. So we're gonna go and take a look at the Nginx configuration to see how we can change the configuration to route to three different servers instead of one. My configuration is going to be inside of Etsy, Nginx, conf.d, and then the name of the domain that I'm using, which is notes.keytomp.com. We need to access this as root, so I had to use sudo to edit it. But right now we have this single location block set up that's doing a proxy pass on port 8000. And I have three versions of this exact same application running and they list on ports 8000, 8001, and 8002. So to transition this over to using a load balancer instead of just being a reverse proxy, we're gonna use the upstream directive. We're gonna call it notes, just to give it a useful name. And then we're going to set server of localhost 8000. And then we're gonna paste this two more times and make some modifications to it. So whether you are actually load balancing across multiple servers, like physical servers, using ports or whatever, it doesn't really matter as long as this is something that Nginx can reverse proxy to. We're just using it all on the same machine, so I didn't have to spin up a bunch of example nodes for it. But this could also work within your VPC or across multiple different nodes you have spun up in a VPS. The next big change that we have to make is instead of proxy pass to localhost 8000, we need to change this to be the name of our load balancer, so, or our upstream rather, and that's gonna be notes. The only way we're gonna be able to tell if this is actually routing traffic the way we wanna do that is by using some logging. So for that, we're gonna set up a different access log type. We're gonna use var log nginx access.log, and then we're gonna call this upstream log. Then we have to define that up above. So we'll come up, and do a log format, upstream log. This is gonna use the server name. We're gonna say that it's routing to upstream ADDR, give the request. Then this is gonna give us a little bit more information so we can see the performance of this. But upstream response time is going to go to upstream underscore response time, the variable. And then we'll put a little bit more information in here too. Request time to request time, and that should be all we need. So now we have a log format, our upstream of notes, and then we've routed that correctly. We can go ahead and save and quit this file. We're gonna go ahead and check to make sure we don't have any typos, and it looks like we're good. And now we should be able to reload Nginx. So we'll use system, CTL, reload Nginx. And for us to see how this is actually being routed, we're gonna go ahead and tail the var log nginx access.log. And as we make requests to the live application, we should see that it's going to be routed to different versions of our backend application. So if we come back and we're just gonna refresh the page a few times and we have three applications. So if we have four different requests that we make by refreshing four times, we should see that we're going to a few different things here. So we'll see Every time you get notes to, and then it gives you this, this is telling you what server it's pointing to. And as we scroll up, we can see that the first one went to 8,000, second one went to 801, third one went to 802. And then if we go and we hit that one more time, we should see that we go back to a different server. So yeah, we went back to 801. So it doesn't take a whole lot to set up Nginx as a load balancer. And if we go back and we take a look in Etsy Nginx Conf D to our notes file, we can see that this is really all it took is we had to set up an upstream and then we had to utilize the upstream. Inside of the Nginx documentation for upstream, you can find that there are multiple different ways that you can actually tell Nginx to load balance. By default, it's going to use a round robin approach. But if we wanted to do this so that it's routing the same user to the same server all the time, then we could go ahead and utilize the IP underscore hash directive here, which would change the way that it actually goes about routing traffic. And there are quite a few different ways that you can route the traffic here. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Linux Academy channel so you can get updated whenever we release new content. And if you want to learn more about Nginx, head over to linuxacademy.com and look for the Nginx web server deep dive to learn more.